Hey there, this is Lady Dreamers. And you're wondering why I'm wearing Halloween and Valentine's Day? Well, I love Thackeray Binks, so I thought I'd wear this little getup. And I wanted to tell you about the background of this month's cooking and baking with Lady Dreamers. It is the infamous green bean casserole. This recipe was originally created by Dirk and Riley in 1955. She was a manager at the Campbell Test Kitchens. You can do, do the uh, green bacon casserole with Campbell's soup, which I'll show you, or you can make it from scratch. I used to think it was really kind of mushy and disgusting. And then my niece, Rebecca, made it. And um, she made it with fresh green beans. And that makes all the difference. So, since then, it's been a staple at our family dinner table because uh, everybody loved it. Now, here's a side note. If you want, you can do it the old-fashioned way with two cans of uh, string beans. I'm sure uh, Dorka used canned string beans, and my mom loves the, the uh, canned string beans. Or you can use fresh or frozen uh, green beans. And I'm going to show you the fresh green beans version. And... Now, on to the show. Hope you enjoy making green bean casserole. Hey there, this is Lady Dreamers, and welcome back. I'm doing this on a different day. Decided, same shirt, different ears. So, I am going to show you how to do the beloved, the hated, infamous green bean casserole and you need to have some green beans number one number two Campbell's cream and mushroom soup French's French fried onions which you can eat just by themselves some milk salt and pepper to taste. I like to put some extra mushrooms always in my cream of mushroom soup. Some soy sauce and I like to add just a dash more of Worcestershire sauce. So I'm going to show you a picture of the ingredients also and hey, I had uh, Oliver look at the ingredients and at the end of this video, you can see him inspect those ingredients. Be right back. Now, the recipe says to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then you, if you're doing um, fresh green beans, you parboil your green beans for about three and a half minutes. If you like them um, like really kind of form and um, my mom kind of likes them um, not form and to the, the uh, soft side. I kind of like a medium, so what I did was I cooked them for 10 minutes, and they're still form, you know, but soft enough for us. Then you're supposed to shock them in water. Uh, on my, I'm going to be making this three times this, uh, this season. Once was to see how it turned out, which it turned out really well. And that's why you're watching this video. Two is for this video. And number three is for the family on Thanksgiving. 
and you're going to be seeing this video um, after Thanksgiving. So when they mean shock, they mean putting in a bowl of ice water and that stops the cooking. And I always wondered about that and I decided not to shock these because they were kind of not soft but not hard when I drained the water out of them. And I've noticed that while they were sitting and I was doing the intro right here, uh, they've gotten softer. So definitely shock your vegetables in cold water if you uh it stops the cooking time and uh that way if you like them firm they'll stay firm now the next step is to put everything in a casserole dish and store together uh since there's just two of us uh for this particular one i sprayed the pan with pan it's an old pan that's why it doesn't look that great um and then you plop everything in and hey on plop plopping everything in good now you want four cups of the green beans you can either do that or just line the bottom of your casserole dish now if you are making for more than say five people double the recipe that i'm going to put at the end of this recipe and if you have a ton of a uh, ton of side dishes at that particular party just do the recipe that i said and they can fend for themselves right so the one thing i noticed between the first bake and this bake is that they said don't put the french fried onions product placement don't put the plot of these on before the bake now you can and i will put some of these inside the casserole and it makes it even like these two together with everything else Wow, it's all I'm gonna say. So, let me uh, dump and then we can get to it. Now, you basically will use the whole thing of this on one, uh, one casserole because between you snacking some of them, putting some of them inside and the rest on top, you probably will finish the uh, whole container. Now, I've got a spoon here. Now, I have another little trick for you that I double check to make sure if it was right. You know how you get your uh, Campbell's soup and you make little recipes from them? If you want to do a half a cup, you can do it the proper way and get your half a cup thing. Or you can just take the Campbell soup and put it about, I'd say, almost half a ray is a half a cup. And we will be right back. And we're back. Had a, did not put my little guy in the, uh, the bedroom, so he made her an appearance and I decided that while he was still on the floor I would uh, stop the video and not make it so he was disturbing us on here and if you do hear him say stuff in the background uh, he is uh, bullying my other cat Cleo so you need now they said a tablespoon uh, one whole teaspoon of this but i like to combine this and this so i split it in half to a half a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon so if you only want to do the soy do a teaspoon of soy and skip the uh the worcestershire sauce now 
Now you can also add a little bit more milk than um, a half a cup if you think it's a little bit on the dry side. And I think that's what I did on my trier run. Let me get this out of the way. And we just stir. And uh, also, if you, you can do frozen vegetables too. And if you're doing frozen vegetables, then you definitely don't want to put more than a uh, half a cup of water. Uh, of milk because water will, from the uh, frozen vegetables will get in there. So you just flatten this out. And like I said, you can just add just a smidgen more milk. Then you put it in the uh, oven. It says put it in the oven for 25 minutes and then take it out, put some of this on here, and then put it in for another five minutes. I noticed when I was doing it that I like it at 30 to 35 minutes to bake and then about another 5-10 minutes. It depends on how your stove works. So my oven is... A little bit um, likes to take more time so cook time and I'm gonna put it on for 30 minutes and then we will be right back after 30 minutes to show you putting more of these bad boys on there be right back in 30 minutes that is okay now I just got these out of the oven and this is how they look you um it said mix these put these on top put it in for five more minutes and then it gets to be like well and as you see i put that extra that extra milk in and it is worth putting that extra little bit of milk in if you're doing the fresh green beans. And all that little extra of these. And the mushrooms. And you probably noticed I didn't put any uh, extra salt and pepper. Because this has salt in it. This has salt in it. There's salt in the soup. Didn't need any extra salt. And if you want, if you want more salt and pepper, put more salt and pepper on it when you're uh, done. So let me put these on top. And I'm going to... get the oven back to 350. Now the one thing I will tell you that uh, if you don't have your timer right next to you, um, you will basically uh, have the sitting in the oven for a little bit and your oven temperature will go down. So you have to pre uh, re preheat if that's the word you want to use. So, like I said, might as well use the rest and then plop it on top. Spread it kind of on top there. And we will be back for the final bit and the eating part, which is the best part of all. Now, here we have the finished product. Does look kind of good, doesn't it? Now, another tip, uh, you can cut the green beans or you can just uh, plop them in. For the trial run, I plopped them in and while it was good, 
they're kind of hard to eat. So these ones I kind of cut into like that size pieces. So we'll see how this baby is. And like I said, the more fried uh, onions, the better. And this is basically what's for dinner tonight for uh, my mother and I. And let me bring you around. And I have to tell you, when I put on the uh, the green beans and put it back in the stove, the timer didn't go 100%, but I, like, saw the clock and thought, okay, I have six minutes, because I put it in for six minutes, and um, so when I came back after six minutes, it said, and it said it didn't even uh, do any timer here, but it is perfect and it is hot. And I can tell you, I took that bite and the, the aftertaste was kind of a little bit hot. <laughs> but, uh, okay. The first bite, I mainly got the, uh, the onions and I wanted to see if the um, green beans were done and they're done perfectly and how you do your green beans is up to you if you like I'm kind of mushy like my mother do the canned version um, if you like I'm kind of hard and al dente uh, don't uh, you know, cook them for that long on the parboiling part and remember to shock them in cold water. If you like them kind of medium, not too firm, not too soft, uh, do them for about 10 minutes on the boil part, put them in here, and it is perfect. So, you can do this for your um, Easter dinner and... For Christmas dinner also so even though you're seeing this video after Thanksgiving because of me uh, working too much and not having enough time to do this video it's my only day off this week go me uh, but anyway um, try this it's very good and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you will have a great and Merry Christmas. And for Christmas uh, cooking video, I found this really cool kind of twist on French toast that I'm going to show you that you can have for um, Christmas morning or Christmas Eve for that matter. And this is Lady Jamers saying like, subscribe, tell your friends about Lady Jamers' channel, and remember to hit those notification buttons to be reminded of each and every video. Following this video, we are going, I am going to have the ingredients, the directions, picture of, and what uh oliver thinks about the ingredients see you later take care happy holidays everybody bye bye
Here is Oliver expecting the ingredients of today's recipe. So what do you think, Oliver? Do you approve?